Well, 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 look who's back, or maybe you're new, I don't know, but either way guys, welcome back to yet another Total War League Siege Battle. This time we are going to see Ein Herjar on the attack versus the Raven Revolution on the defense on a Barbarian Settlement, although I do not remember the name of this settlement. Guys, I hope you have grabbed your snacks, your drinks, I hope you've jerked off a quick one, not while calling your grandmother and telling her that you love her, because I really don't think she'd appreciate that. I hope that you guys have done whatever you needed to do, because this battle is going to keep you glued to the screen, your eyeballs wide, your mouth wide open in awe for how amazing this battle truly is. Guys, if you like this video at all, make sure to hit that like button. If you love this video, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what your favorite part of today's battle was. I'm very excited to be able to see this one for the first time here today myself. And let's go ahead and get right into it. As is tradition, guys, let's go ahead and look at the attacker's army compositions first. On the attack, again... The attack in this case is going to be Einherjar, Einherjar, however the hell you pronounce it, um, on the attack. Over here we've got Gate, bringing in some Noble Sword Spears, Mercenary Axe Warriors, uh, more <laughs> Noble Swords, although I don't know if it's as many as I thought. One, two, maybe, maybe it is. One, two, three, four. And then the General... Okay, so now six noble swords. That is not bad at all. Of course, we've got some mercenary axe warriors as well. We've got a couple of spear units just to be able to have a little bit of chaff to push up the towers and get inside the settlement here right off the bat. And then we've got some Dacian bowmen as well as Dacian heavy bowmen indeed. One second, guys. Still trying to wake up, trying to get rid of all those goobies oogie boogies whatever the fuck they are in the morning and we've got a salia going on as well very exciting shit looking over at the other attacking army we've got the great nabatea bringing in some nabatean heavy archers some nabatean axe warriors some armored desert hoplites plenty of those you can't have a nabatea without desert hoplites and if you do and then that's just a sad day indeed. We've also got some Desert Levy, um, a Greek Giant Ballista, and a Nabataean Noble Cavalry. The General, the Nabataean General, that is going to kick absolute ass today. Looking at the Defender's Compositions, we can't exactly see the entire armies, but we can look at the factions. We've got Bactria so far bringing some Bactrian Hillmen over on the front line. Coming outside to be able to help defend the Eastern Scorpion and the range units that have been brought outside of the settlement onto the battlefield. And then we've got Armenia bringing some Noble Blood Cavalry. Oh, going in for a charge. We've got a couple of units of archers still on the towers, undefended. Not paying attention, the Noble Blood Cavalry is going to charge right in. Oh, oh, that is going to hurt. These Nabatean Heavy Archers are definitely not cheap, and this Noble Blood Cavalry should be able to get a decent amount of kills, but now we've got the Nabatean Noble Cavalry General coming in to be able to try and stop this madness, as well as the frantic marching of multiple units of Axe Warriors charging into these Noble Blood Cav, trying to stop them from absolutely decimating these Archers. So far, these Archers haven't taken nearly as much damage as I had originally anticipated this noble blood cab with 32 kills 70 out of 80 men remaining the archers going to go ahead and start marching the hell out of there but this cavalry is not going to stop he is going to continue to march on and try to take out these archers not wanting to let them leave he knows that he can't escape so he is going to chase down these archers and take them out make them suffer for trying to run away from him looking over at the other side so far we don't have much of an engagement we've got gate Starting to set up a little bit of a defensive stance against these forces. We've got a unit of Eastern Slingers, which is taking a little bit of fire from these bows. Trying to get into a good position to be able to fire in. I think they are a little bit close, though. they got to be careful about that. 
And we've still got a couple units of cavalry over here on the side. We've got the General Royal Cataphrac, Eastern Cataphrac, Eastern Scorpion, and a unit of Cartley Axemen as well. It looks like we do have one unit of Desert Levy that is completely breaking the Noble Blood Cavalry with 141 kills so far. Trying to find another opportunity to be able to take out some ca some archers. And he's going to go ahead and charge right into the Dacian Heavy Bowmen. Try to get some more archer kills. Try to do as much damage as possible. All the while being chased down by the Nabataean Noble Cavalry General. 18 men remaining. We've got a lot of fire going into these guys. But that fire is also going to go into the Heavy Bowmen. And do some friendly fire. And now the Cav is going to break with 153 kills remaining. And they are off the battlefield. Let me know down in the comments below. Was that worth it only time can tell the hillmen are engaged with some mercenary axe warriors as well man these morning ickies are not happy with me right now making me cough my throat oh feels like it's got a dick in it not that i would know how that feels like <laughs> Um, but yeah, we've got the Bacter and Hillman fighting against some Mercenary Axe Warriors. We've got Noble Swords, Spears, all kinds of different units in the fray fighting against them. And the Slingers are just trying to do whatever they can to be able to get as many kills as possible. And now Gate is quickly moving up their forces and just trying to get inside of the settlement while they still can. We've got a unit of Mercenary Syrian Archers on the wall starting to fire into some of these troops trying to do as much damage as they possibly can they got to be careful a lot of the arrows will go in between the towers but a lot of them will also hit the towers and not do any damage i know they're trying to support their troops as much as they possibly can but they do have to be extra careful about that the Bactrian Hillman with 23 kills so far are starting to break but they're going to get out of that fight get around and try to use their pila and get as many kills as they possibly can the spears do not stand a chance against the Cartley Axemen, a more elite unit outside of the city walls, just trying to absolutely demolish this spear unit. Alright guys, we are back. Those morning goobers are kicking my ass today, I apologize. Looking over here though, we've got lots and lots of fire going down the sword side slash flank of some of these mercenary axe warriors. A lot of fire, some of the fire going into some of these noble swords as well, just trying to weaken them, trying to get as many kills as possible. We've got an eastern cataphract unit starting to line up to be able to get inside of the fray and try to get as many kills as they possibly can. Cartley Axeman now engaged with the unit of mercenary axe warriors that is just being completely peppered by archers and now the eastern cataphracts are in the fray against some of these mercenary axe warriors just trying to get that initial charge off distract them for just a little bit try to get some kills so far they have 44 kills the sally out is doing really well for the defending forces but the attackers have begun to engage with those that are inside of the settlement we got a unit of thorax swordsman trying to hold this gap against the might of a unit of mercenary axe warriors or i'm sorry mercenary axe warriors and a nabataean axe warrior as well um that is engaged with the thorax swordsman but the cavalry is really just doing whatever it can to harass these troops and the cartley axemen are doing an amazing job of making sure that these noble swords turn their sword side to the archers and allow these archers to start getting a ton of kills and just start moving up some more ranged troops this way if they want to continue to harass gate and just to completely demolish their troops now we've got a couple of units from Gate, those Dacian heavy bowmen starting to get into a position to get some side fire on these archers. They got to be extra careful about that. The Thoreo spears are starting to absolutely pepper these Dacian heavy bowmen, though, trying to get as many kills as they possibly can. We've got a little bit of fire going in on the shield side of these Thoreo spears, but they are just throwing everything that they got at these archers just trying to get as many kills as possible. They've got 39 kills so far, and they have the opportunity to get so many more How's the uh, Scorpion doing? The Scorpion has 42 kills so far. Um, it still has ammo though, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's still firing. It still has ammo. Um, over on this side, the Nabataean General is starting to break with 43 men remaining. Is he going to break? We got the Royal Cataphract General chasing him down, trying to take him out. The Nabataean General is at 37 men remaining. Did he die though? That is the question. He is still alive, but wow. That General has truly taken a beating. They got to be careful about the Slingers. They only have 42 kills. Noble Swords are going to go ahead and fall back. They have been brought out of position just trying to take out those Slingers. But now we've got another unit of Eastern Cataphracts quickly charging in. Trying to get in against those Noble Swords before they fully form up that shield wall. 
They're going to go and charge right into them. And now we got the general coming in around. Nabatia is quickly sending up some troops to be able to help his ally survive this because his ally is taking a beating. This unit of Mercenary Axe Warriors with 45 kills is starting to break. Carly Axe with 232 kills is no longer being supported by the archers over here, it looks like. How many? Oh, these archers are completely out of ammo with 192 kills. Not bad with those archers as well. Or at all. And these noble swords have 58 kills, 45 men remaining. These noble swords might actually die from the Cartley Axemen. But we've got a lot of scorpion fire going into this noble sword general with 107 men remaining. If they can take out the general units, that morale will be crushed. And it'll be looking very, very good for the defenders. Over on this side, the Threo Spears are taking a little bit of archer fire. We've got a depleted unit of Desert Levy over on the front line. Trying to burn down these towers as quickly as possible. Trying to keep them from being able to pepper the absolute crap out of some of these horses. The Giant Ballista has 30 kills. So the Giant Ballista just quickly tried to pepper the crap out of that wall. And open up a new opportunity. It looks like the Cartley Axemen have fallen but the noble swords with 30 men remaining only have 81 kills left or i'm sorry 81 kills so definitely not worth with the noble swords and we still got a couple units of cavalry outside of the city walls a unit of eastern slingers um and the eastern scorpion which is still trying to do whatever they can to get as many kills as they possibly can um but gate has definitely taken a beating in this battle they got to be careful about these thorax swordsmen though Actually, the defenders, or I'm sorry, the attackers need to be careful because they're firing into the fronts of these Cartley Axemen, so they're not going to be able to get as many kills. The Cartley Axemen are going to continue to move back and forth, trying to get these archers to waste as much ammo as possible. I think a better target would be these Thorax Horsemen because they are facing um, sword side, so now you can see a lot of these arrows are going in, and they'll be able to get a lot of kills against that. We got the Nabatean Axe Warriors with 32 kills starting to break, and we've got the Bactrian Hillmen and the Thorax Horsemen still with ammo. Coming in to be able to try and get as much fire into these noble swords as possible. Just try to take them out. If they can take out the elite infantry of Gate, then they're going to be looking pretty. That balance of power is actually slightly in favor of the defenders, it looks like to me. Um, it looks like the defenders have done an amazing job of truly doing a ton of damage against Gate um, and Nabatia over here. Were they successfully able to take out those archers, though? Looks like no. The archers survived the noble horse attack, uh, but they definitely took a beating. We've got 88 men remaining, 63 men remaining, and every single archer that you kill lessens the ammo of the archer unit by just a little bit. So even though they didn't kill the entire um, unit, it's still going to weaken them just a little bit here and try to make it so they don't get nearly as many kills. And we got the Cartley Axemen on the walls just peppering the absolute crap out of these spears just trying to take them out. We got more Archer Fire going into Thorax Swordsmen trying to break them because they are a weakened unit but they are facing the front of those archers. And they're doing a great job. I don't know if they're doing it on purpose, if they're trying to do... <clears throat> the back and forth strategy of just trying to waste that archer ammo as much as possible but if they aren't then they're doing a great job of accidentally doing so and just making those archers waste a ton of ammo archers with 52 kills so far 71 kills so far um they do still have ammo however it looks like the slingers are now starting to focus them down the slingers have come back with their wrath and they're just trying to get as many kills as possible and stop the great fire from these archers from going into these cartly axemen and doing so much damage now we're starting to see some of the armored desert hoplites of nabatia go into the fray into these forces they got to be careful those desert hoplites will pack a punch and the cartley axemen will pack a punch as well but they are taking a beating themselves these archers with 90 kills so far we've got a 63 kills so far how is the scorpion on the outside doing? We got the scorpion over here with 127 kills, still just doing a ton of damage. And now the slingers, how, how are the slingers doing on ammo? 79 kills. It looks like the slingers, oh, they are not out of ammo yet. They do still have ammo. Um, so they're just going to continue to fire at some of these archers and try to get as many kills as possible. Um, they are being fired at by some of the Dacian heavy bowmen too, but they are doing a great job of harassing them and making sure that they know of their presence. Um, and I'm not talking about gifts on Christmas. No, no, no. I'm talking about them being there and kicking some absolute booty. The Cartley Axemen are now going to go ahead and go back into the fight. 
going in to be able to try and support these Thoreau Spheres. Spheres? Spears that have now popped battle, had battle rhythm popped on them by a nearby general. Over here, we got a Breaking Desert Levy, which has done their job, which is to burn down those towers. We got some Thoreau Spears that still have ammo going onto the walls, looking for a great opportunity to harass those Nabataean Heavy Archers and try to do as much damage as they can. Looks like we've got another unit of Armored Desert Hoplites moving into the fray. This front line is starting to break just a little bit. <clears throat> Will the defenders be able to retake this front line or will they have to fall back to form a line both right here and right here and risk getting shot to pieces by sword side archer fire? Um, they could also just hold right here and then hold like back here. Kind of at a, at a weird angle to be able to have these towers fire into them, but they also don't have as many troops because of the cavalry they've brought today, so they do have to be careful about that. We've got the Royal Cataphract General from Armenia going over onto the Nabataean side, trying to find an opportunity. We've got a regular Eastern Cataphract over on this side, the Gate side, looking for an opportunity to continue to harass someone which has been stomped to the ground multiple times during this battle. Poor Gate, trying to do whatever they can to be able to minimize the amount of damage done here. We've got some mercenary axe warriors as well as noble swords showing their shield side. Luckily, it's not their sword side, but it is still a side to some of these archers. We're just trying to utilize this to their advantage and try to get as many kills on these guys as they can and do as much damage as possible. We've got some Bactrian and Hillmen. Or, I'm sorry, we've got some Thoreo spears starting to break with 80 kills trying to fight against these armored desert hoplites but they are doing a great job of pushing into this settlement and trying to make sure that the defenders cannot retake this gap right here and push them back to just one location able to spread out quite a bit and that's exactly what they need to do they need to utilize their numbers to the best of their ability um and really just continue to push back the defenders because they have the numbers advantage during this battle they just have to be able to utilize it now we've over here, we've got these Scorpion. Does the Scorpion still have kills? 167 kills so far. And it still has ammo? Oh my goodness. Oh, these poor, poor bastards. I mean, this Scorpion still has ammo. It's trying to shoot the Nabataean Noble Cavalry. It can get, if it can get rid of that general, oh, the morale of Nabatea will be huge. I mean, well, it'll be very little, but it'll be huge for the defenders because they won't have any morale left if your general has died if you have no more leadership you are not going to want to continue to fight as much we've got another unit of carly axemen on the outside fighting against a unit of spears and now a unit of mercenary axe warriors are trying to make their way in continuing to harass these forces we've got the eastern cataphracts that have made their way into here trying to get into some of these archers Continuing to harass these forces, the Eastern Cataphracts with 190 kills, they are completely surrounded and are going to fall though. The Cartley Axemen are still going to try to do as much work as they can. Do these archers still have ammo? These archers are out of ammo. These archers have 50 kills and still have ammo. These archers have 18 kills and still have ammo too. Um, how is the Scorpion doing? It can't have that much more ammo left, right? Yeah, I think that it is finally out of ammo with 177 kills. Well done with that Scorpion. Um, but yeah, looking over at this front line... It looks like the defenders have actually pushed back the attackers a little bit with the Carly Axemen moving in and distracting <clears throat> the attacking forces and with the Cataphracts moving in and starting to distract a ton of the attackers' forces. The defenders have been able to push back um, the attackers just a little bit here and started to push them back towards that initial gap again. And we've got, even got some more breakage. we got Backstreet and Hillman from the defenders starting to break against the Nabataean Axe Warriors, but... We do have a unit of Armored Desert Hoplites starting to break as well with only 57 kills against the might of the Thorax Swordsman. And we've got a unit of Carly Axemen coming around the flank, actually going up on the walls with their Javelin capabilities and just trying to get as many kills as they can. Throwing down their projectiles on these Mercenary Axe Warriors, on these Armored Desert Hoplites, trying to support these Carly Axemen on the outside of the walls doing as much damage as they can. We've got a unit of Mercenary Syrian Archers coming around the flank. Fighting against the Dacian Heavy Bowmen of Gate, just trying to make sure that they can't get around the flank of these Cartley Axemen, distracting them for as long as they possibly can, so that way the Cartleys don't get flanked um, and can continue to do as much work as they can against the attacking forces. The Oh, this is rough for the Thorax Horsemen, though. They are going to take a lot of sword side fire from these archers. These archers are going to be able to rack up kills like no other. And these Thorax Horsemen are going to fall like crazy. We've got the Carly Axemen that have pushed back the attackers all the way back to the choke point, though. Um, we got another unit of Noble Swords in the fray, as well as another unit of Nabataean Axe Warriors in the fray. Um... 
But yeah, the archers are doing an amazing job of just focusing down these Thorax Swordsmen and just trying to get them off of the battlefield and keep them from being able to get too many kills. Great sword side fire on these guys, really doing a number on them. I would almost focus on the Cartley Axemen though, because it looks like you have a great position on them and it looks like they might be repositioning to do so. Oh, they're out of ammo with one of them. One Dacian Bowman, ooh, only 78 kills with this Dacian Bowman and out of ammo. That is going to be rough for the attacking forces. They really need to make sure every arrow counts. And we've got a huge mosh pit going on here. I do not know what's going on, but the Thoreo Spears are trying to go through their own Thorax Swordsman to be able to get on the other side. Hopefully they still have ammo. We've got some archers just trying to absolutely pepper these Noble Swords and make sure that they can't get enough kills, just putting as much fire into them as possible. We've got more fire going into the Spear side of these Armored Desert Hoplites trying to take them out. The Desert Levy, which has been breaking almost this entire battle, is still on the battle. Oh, they stopped breaking. It's still over on the front line, cheering on their brethren um, while they continue to fight and do as much damage as possible. The Eastern Archers are starting to take a little bit of fire from these Nabataean Heavy Archers, which haven't used too much ammo. I would almost turn all of the Archer ammo here if they have any left, because it looks like they might start to run low, but start to turn all of your ammo over to those Nabataean Heavy Archers. You should be able to take them out relatively easily. Um, but yeah, these noble swords with only 70 kills 20 noble swords remaining the defenders have done such an incredible job of just destroying these highly sought after noble swords these extremely expensive extremely powerful noble swords before they can get into melee and now these nabataean heavy archers are getting absolutely peppered by the mercenary syrian archers of the bactrian player and it doesn't even know i don't even think they notice yet are they going to retreat or are they going to take there and just take the fire? They only have 17 kills, so I can only imagine that they still have ammo left over. But those, yeah, those Bactrian archers, those mercenary Syrian archers, the 194 kills are really, oh, and those archers are gone. 19 kills, 41 men remaining. They are shattered. No chance of coming back. Where is, th oh, the general! The general saw an opportunity to be able to potentially charge in, charging into some hoplites, trying to harass them. Is the general still alive? It looks like the general is still alive. 31 men remaining with 87 kills, just trying to get out of there real quick, just trying to continue to harass the attacking forces and continue to distract them over on the side so that way they can really focus down that front line and get as many kills as possible. We've got another unit of Cartley Axemen. Moving over to this front line, scratch that two more units of Cartley Axemen moving over to the front line to be able to start engaging with yet another unit of Noble Swords, which is popping Headhunt and Battle Rhythm, trying to get in there and trying to get as many kills as they possibly can, fighting against the armored piercing capability of the Cartley Axemen, as well as taking fire from the Eastern Archers with 78 kills so far, and the Bactrian Peltus with six, or 62 kills so far as well, and these Noble Swords with 122 or 118 men remaining 33 kills are just going to get absolutely focused down by the range capabilities of the defenders looking at what is left we've got a couple units of desert hoplites we've got a couple of fresh units of armored desert hoplites a weakened unit of armored desert hoplites a few archers which hasn't seen too much combat yet so they can still get a lot of fire in Ooh, we got another unit of eastern archers 49 men remaining zero kills looks like they got peppered they fell back but they were lucky enough to come back to the battlefield so they'll be able to bring their art their uh ammo to the forefront and try to get as many kills as they possibly can we still got the noble sword general 95 men remaining um and a few other archers that are out of ammo and a union of nabutine axe warriors looking at the defenders we still got some cartley axemen Thorax Horsemen, but a lot of weakened troops as well. We've got the Peltas, we've got some ranged units, we've got the Bactrian General, the Bactrian Royal Guard over here on the front line, trying to inspire their men and try to utilize their abilities to the best of their ability, um, and keep trying to get them to get as many kills as possible. Um, and then we've still got some ranged units as well. The archers are not going to go in here and start peppering these Noble Swords and trying to get them off the battlefield, getting some good shield side fire. Again, not sword side, but whatever they can get at this point they just have to take out these noble swords before they can get too many kills all the while the cartley axemen are doing a great job of holding them back with their armored piercing capability and with their armored capability um and just trying to do as much work as possible looks like the bactrian hillman that was outside of the battlefield tried to charge in we got another unit of bactrian hillman trying to charge in and get into those archer forces trying to sneak around but we got the armored desert hoplites quickly moving around to be able to stop them um will the general risk himself to be able to go in and take out those nabataean archers only time can tell we've still got a couple units of cartley axemen so i don't know 
it could potentially be worth it. We still have a fresh unit of Cardly Axemen over here as well, though. So you definitely don't want to see them um, lose morale. Or, I'm sorry, lose the general and take that huge morale debuff. We got the archers over here. 126 men remaining are starting to fall back. We got a unit of Nabataean Axe Warriors. Ooh, the general is dead. I didn't even realize the Nabataean general is gone. The Nabataean forces are going to take a huge morale debuff, which is going to be huge for the defending forces. And we got a lot of forces cycling in and out of these armored desert hoplites. Um, but we've got a lot of ammo going right into... Um, this unit of noble swords, this general, we got one unit of noble swords that is broken so far. These cartly axemen are still holding, and the general unit is just taking all of the archer capability that the defenders have brought to the table. The general, oh, 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 oh that glide, oh, that glide, go, 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 oh my goodness. The general's going to charge right into those archers. Ouch, dude. Breaking some of these archers, especially with the loss of the general. I don't think this general is going to be able to make it out of there, um, which is going to be a huge morale loss for the defending forces. But he is going to be able to take out a lot of archers and hopefully stop them from being able to put their fire into the forces while the forces finish cleaning up this front line, distracting the front line or distracting the extra troops of Nabatea. This general's in there with 141 kills. We've got a lone cavalry just trying to get out of there. He said, nah, my rider's dead. I don't want to deal with this anymore. I'm going to go home. I'm going to go try to get the this armor off, dude. Scratch the shit out of it on the ground and just try to get this heavy, hot armor off of me because this is super uncomfortable and that's fair. That's fair, dude. You go and live your best life, Cav. You go and live your best life. But over here, yeah, the general has fallen. The general, I think the general is actually dead. Yep, the general is dead. So now it's just the Cartley Axemen have taken the huge morale loss. Um, but so has Nabatea. So it's pretty even over on that front. Cartley Axemen have a lot of armor piercing capability. And with the cycle charges of the Thorax Swordsman and Cartley Axemen, they're going to be able to get a lot of kills against these armored desert hoplites. 60 men remaining, 98 kills. They are starting to waver, but will they break? That is the question of a lifetime. 54 men remaining, still breaking it. They have shattered with 50 men remaining. Oh, no. Taking a lot of fire from these Bactrian Peltas, though. Um, but they are going to go ahead and get out of this battlefield. Hopefully see their families yet again. Leave their homeland because, let's face it, it's, you know, they're going to be disgraced for having left the battlefield. Uh, maybe start up a farm or something. Join a different faction. Maybe they'll join Bactria or Armenia. Maybe they're like, all right, you know what? Fuck Nebatia. Let's go over here and start trying to, uh, you know, start, you know, start a new life for our family. We'll see. These Thorax Swordsmen are going to take a lot of fire from those archers, and that is a great position for those archers to be in. 165 kills with these guys so far. Those archers can just absolutely tear apart those Thorax Swordsmen, which are going to take a lot of damage from that unit of archers. Um, it actually looks like that general was able to break um, a few units of those archers over there, which was huge because those archers still had so much ammo. We have another archer unit outside of the battlefield. A Bactrian Peltus with 141 kills outside of the battlefield. He needs to start marching his way over that way and start trying to harass their opponents yet again. And it looks like he is going to start moving somewhere. Whether it's going to be inside of the settlement or outside of the settlement, we have yet to find out. And yeah, these Thorax Swordsmen are taking a beating against these archers. These archers are really doing some work now. 137 kills so far. Still has ammo. Just trying to utilize it and really help those frontline troops as much as they possibly can. Are they out of ammo now? Most of them have their swords out. Some of them still... Have, no, they are out of ammo with 143 kills. Over on this front line, we've got a couple of units of Armored Desert Hoplites fighting against some of the chaff of the defenders. The defenders utilizing some of their weaker troops to hold them in place while they still somehow have ammo firing into this front line really just continuing to harass this front line and getting as many kills as they possibly can trying to take out these armored desert hoplites over on the outside it looks like we had a unit of thorax swordsmen a fresh unit of thorax swordsmen sally out and start fighting against the nabatean axe warriors and now we've got a mass break by the attackers and it looks like the defenders are going to take raven revolution is going to take the fight the victory in today's battle let's go ahead and end the replay and look at some of these kills 
looking over at the attacking forces. We've got Nabatia and Gaete. Um, Nabatia's got 1,489 kills. Gaete's got 1,187 kills. We've got Chairman Mao and Raifu. We've got Chairman getting 1,830 kills and Raifu getting 1,952. Looking at the kills, we've got Nabatia 126, 101, 195, 171, 150, 144. We've got Armenia getting 145, 178, 197, 153, 102, 107, 173, 102, 143, 259. That initial sally out with that Cartley Axman was very powerful. And then we've got Gate getting 120, 146, 138. Um, and then Bactria getting 239, 225, doing a great job with those archers. 163, 136. That's actually kind of funny. Just swap those around. 183, 179, 132, 127, um, and 105 on a unit of Hillman. Well done, guys. If you guys like this video again, make sure to hit that like button. If you guys love this video, make sure to hit that subscribe button. If you want to see more Total War League content, I am covering all of Group B. And I do have a playlist for Group B, so make sure to check it out. I'll try to remember to put it in the description below. And there are a lot of other content creators that are bringing out content for all of the individual groups as well. So make sure to check them out. Um, not limited to... Uh, Pope John Paul, Marketable Skills, um, Ellington, we've got Pixelated Apollo, the man, the myth, the legend himself, the one who inspired me to start getting into Rome 2 Total War battles, um, and Total War um, content in general, and a lot of other content creators, so make sure to check those out, but guys, again, thank you so much for watching this video, I really do appreciate it, and I will see you sexy ass motherfuckers in the next one, peace.